Good morning. Happy New Year. Good to be with y'all again. Uh, this is Robert Davis. And this morning I'm going to share with you some components that are have been open source for several years that are still very uh, valuable to all of us who develop software. Let's go right to it. We'll bring Delphi up here. <clears throat> And I want to show you in the tools, get it package manager. Components we're looking for are called on guard. You type that in, let it search, and you see it has on guard for fire monkey, and it has on guard for visual component library. And that's what I have installed. You want to try fire monkey you can do it this way i think both can coexist peacefully so uh whatever you want to try but i've got this one installed so what we'll do is come back here to delphi and you want to have either create a new application or go through this with one that you've already created and are developing or have developed. And I'm going to open up this Nexus DB test. It's a little simple contact manager with photos. And I'll show you how this works. And there you go. It's a table of contacts with their phone and email and notes and a photo and we can toggle through these but uh, we've already developed this application so let's um, close this and we go on, we want to go to code first and come up here to the uses clause of the main form and add two units first one is on guard, guard, and the second one is OG till. Once you put those two in, you won't get any uh, headache from undeclared identifiers and such. And then we'll go back to design and we'll come down here to on guard and double click a TOG date code onto the form, main form, and bring this down here so we can play with it. And we want to right click on it and go to the generate key menu option. We need to uh, talk to our on guard INI file. Let's delete this guy so it doesn't cause any f confusion. Okay, so now we'll add, and we'll call this OG date test. And then click this key and click generate key and then click OK and OK and uh, what we should come up with um, is a key maintenance form like we're looking at now and we need to select our application in this list box there and um, and the generated key is listed here so click on the copy to clipboard button here.
That's the hexadecimal representation that we need in the compiled code. And then click OK to exit the dialog box. Now with that code, what we're going to do is we're going to the code behind and in the implementation section, we're going to type a little bit of stuff. So it's going to be C-O-N-S-T for cons, C key type T key equals, and let's put a pair of parentheses here, and then paste in our hex code and then our semicolon at the end so we don't have any problems with the flow we want to go back to design and with the component selected we want to go to the event tab <clears throat> and double click on the on get key and here we're going to type key is assigned to C key. Okay, no squiggly underlines. This event's fired by the component to get the key to encode or decode the release code. So you got to have that, or else you can't issue a valid release code after the expiration. So uh, let's go back to design. Make sure our component is selected. It is. And go to the code property in the object inspector. Double click that. Access our INI file. Select that. And we want to click OK, and here we are, start date and end date. And I'm just going to leave these two dates the way they are. They bo they're both for today. It starts today and ends today, so I guess midnight or so. But what we want to do is click this button, Generate Code, and we get that. And there you see it generates a code and puts it into the object inspector's property. Then we want to uh, click store code to true. We want to so make sure the component is selected. Go back to the event tab in the object inspector and unchecked. We'll double click on checked. Oh, I was unchecked. And we need to type a little code here. Tab. Case. Status. Of. And it puts that in for you. So all we need to do is put what happens if we get that code. And so on valid code, we just go show message valid code on invalid code. We say show message in invalid release code and on past end date, we type show message date as expi expired. And the rest of these, what I'm going to do is common them out because we don't use them. Um, in this particular case, so I'll comment those out. We should be able to save all 
and run this puppy. And that's exactly what we want because we know that it's good through today. It started today and it'll end today, I guess at midnight. And so we get valid code and the next thing that happens is our application starts. Now, let's close this. You have full functionality to the whole application. Um, so let's change this to get our i9 file again. Okay, that. Let's change this to end date of yesterday and then click generate code again see that puts the fresh code in there click OK save all our changes and run this exactly the result we're looking for the date has expired we change it to 1 3 2023 and that was yesterday so it's expired I think maybe I missed an event code, an event. Oh. <laughs> I did, I did, my bad. If status doesn't equal OG valid code then patient terminate I think this end should go up Here. Oh, valid coded. I spelled it wrong. There you see. Okay. Save our changes. Run it. Date is expired. This is exactly what we expected. And when we click OK, you'll see a flash real quick but it won't let the application run. It'll terminate it just like it says. So, um, let me tell you a little couple of things here. On these show messages, you can do pretty much anything you want that's you know available by ways of code. Um, you could use message box and have some more options than the show message. I'm not particularly fond of the show message, but it was just simple for the, so you can see what it's doing. Have it do different things based on these codes. Okay, so uh, what do we get? Data is expiring, terminates. Uh, we'll go back over here to design properties code double click get our i9 file I, but we'll change this here to say uh 24 2023 generate the code click okay save your changes and run it valid code there you go. Uh, you don't even really have to show a message there. You could just open the application. It just depends on what you prefer to do. There you have it. We'll do that um, code thing again just to... So you can get this down. Select the application. Click OK. 
Uh, and we'll go back to... We'll go to 1.3, which is yesterday. Generate code. Okay. Save our changes. Right. And that's what we get. Just exactly what we expected. Date has expired. And that's all there is to it. Make sure that when you download the components that you can get a hold of the OnGuard manual. It should be in the our installation folder. But uh, make sure you get that because you'll refer back to that. It's not quite so cookie cutter stuff. So you've got to do different things for different results. Um, more so than usual. But you can use this to protect your software from piracy or abuse. And it's that simple. I just used one component and a little bit of code. And we got what we wanted. Uh, an ex expiration date for the application. Thanks for being with me again. I'm Robert Davis. And I hope you got some good out of this. And I enjoyed doing it for you. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks, Happy New Year, and bye.